What's up everybody? It's John from 9142 Props and Armory and I'm here and I'm back and it's been a long time. It has been a long time since late last fall and I have come back after lots of different things which we'll talk about but the reason that we're here and right here and now is that I have a major challenge for myself and something that will be fun to work on for the channel. I'm going to show it to you right now here on 9142 Props and Armory. So if you're going to do a big project, it's going to take a long time and it's going to take a lot of plastic and you want something that's going to be really cool at the end, why the hell not go ahead and do a fully printed R2-D2? So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be an ongoing project. And here is the thing of it. I am not going to spend more than 500 bucks on this. Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. I'm not going to spend. I'm going to build a full-sized R2-D2 that functions as it does on film through practical effects for less than 500 bucks. Because there are a lot of R2-D2s out there, and there are some really damn cool ones. And I have some local friends that have some amazing, amazing R2s made of, of machined aluminum parts. And they are gorgeous, but they are expensive. You can spend ten grand or more to make your own R2-D2 using aluminum parts and electronics sourced from people that have built them for you. And, and lots of other things. It can be crazy expensive. Quite honestly, I don't have the money to spend on that, and I don't have the patience to buy a part, you know, wait six months, buy another part, and then 10 years later, finally get around to putting it together. I'll lose interest. It'll sit off in the corner like BB-8 or like my, my short trooper costume and, and, or Chewbacca or other things because I have a short attention span when it comes to projects. So let's see if we can get this one done in relatively short order for an R2, let's call it six months to a year. So what are we going to do with R2? And that is part of the reason why I wanted to do a little intro video for R2 or in which I'm not really doing anything or building part of it. Um, but 90% of doing any project like this and half the other things I do is spent thinking about it and planning things out and drawing things out, and modeling things, and all that other stuff that you have to do to, to get to a point where um, this is already. And thankfully, um, there is a really talented gentleman out there. His name is Mike Badley. He's got a, got a group on Facebook called 3D Printed Droids that I'll put a link down to in the description. There is the R2 Builders Club out there. Um, where you can get info on making an R2 in any number of different ways, including aluminum and wood and, and Sintra and 3D printing and, and, and other many other different ways of doing it. So there is the info out there. Uh, the files, um, I became a patron of Mike on Patreon, and for just a couple bucks a month, I get access to all of the Fusion 360 files for R2, which allows me to do some alterations, and adding cool things that I want to do to it, um, which is just awesome. So, Mike, thank you. Uh, thank you for putting those out there and sharing your work with the community. You can even get free versions of the files, which are just the STL files for R2, and he's got them posted on Thingiverse. So what are we going to do with R2? R2 is going to drive. His head's going to move. He's going to have lights. He's going to have sounds. He's going to have a lot of those little extra hidden tools that function. Um, let's see, some of the things that come out of the dome that I want to include in there, the, the camera that pops out of the top of the dome when he is stuck in the, stuck in the swamp after they crash by Yoda, um, and he's trying to get back out. The life form scanner that comes out of the top of the dome when he's looking for Luke when they're on uh, Hoth in Empire. One of the other things that I want to do that I think is going to differentiate mine from, from others is when they get onto Jabba's barge and Luke is about ready to be pushed into the Sarlacc pit off of the skiff and he steps up onto the edge and they're planning, uh, months of planning and uh, to rescue Han is kind of coming together and you start getting those quick cuts to everybody, Leia and Chewie and Han and Lando and
Cruz Luna. And the decimation of Chava's entire gang begins in short order. So that is something that I want to have R2 be able to do. Uh, I'm going to come up with a mechanism for the inside. Uh, we're going to have an air cannon of some some type or form in there uh, that's made using 3D printing and some other disciplines too um, so that we can launch a lightsaber out of that door, one of those doors here on R2's dome. So, if you're going to build a droid, why not give it some style, right? Has some fun things that it does. It's going to do some neat stuff. You know, it, for most people driving around and having the doors open, a couple things is like, wow, cool. <clears throat> You're going to go full nerd? We're going to go full nerd on this one. Absolutely, 100%, positively full nerd on this. And I'll be able to set R2 out somewhere and have him fire me a lightsaber that I may or may not catch or may hit me in the face. It's going to be fun to test that thing out. I can't wait to do the video on that. But that is the big project going forward for some time. A fully 3D printed R2-D2 that is functional um, and that will cost less than $500. And I think it's actually going to be quite a bit less than that. The last costume that I did, the Mud Trooper that I did, that I printed, I think all said and done I had about $210 bucks into that one for a full head to toe costume. That's pretty, pretty awesome. So I think we can do R2 definitely for under 500 bucks. We'll see how low we can get. I will not BS the numbers and I will share exactly what the costs involved are. Um, to this point right now, looking at R2 as the dome sits right now, I've used a roll and a half of uh, filament that I got on special that I ordered on Amazon for like nine bucks a roll. It's good stuff. Uh, roll and a half, nine bucks a roll. 13 and a half bucks and we got almost an entire dome already. So we're doing good so far. Lots of printing to come. It's going to be weeks and weeks and weeks and if not really months of printing, depending on if I can just keep slamming the parts out and keep the printer rolling all the time, uh, we could probably get it done probably in a month or two, the majority of the, of the printing. So that is a huge project. I'm back. I'm glad to be back. Um, I look forward to putting out videos on a regular basis, partially of the R2 build to show you some of the new tools like the CNC machine, we'll get into that. It's a really amazing tool. I'm so glad that I have one to add to help me do other neat things. So lots of videos coming, lots of things planned. Hope to have a lot of fun with you um, through the course of these projects and hopefully you can continue to, to learn some things and I'll continue to learn things around and along the way as well. So thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel. There's about 1,400 of you now so far that have. For now, I'm gonna get back to printing. Um, let me know some ideas you have for R2 and things that you'd like to see R2 be able to do. Uh, maybe I'll be able to incorporate some of those things. And please don't ask me to have it walk up the stairs like it did in the prequels. Practical things, not CGI things. No R2 can't fly, can't do that either. Unless somebody's got a really good way to do that where it still looks like R2. But no. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. It's John. It's 9142 Props and Armory. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again very soon.